hey everyone what's going on it's your girl Bella welcome to another video so i'm starting off this vlog with me getting ready to go to the gym the time is now 9 57 today is wednesday december i think it's the 21st if i'm not mistaken and um we get ready to go to the gym so you might be wondering why are you going to the gym so late well my day starts at 7 6 45 in the morning seven o'clock 7 30 in the morning to be honest that's more accurate and i get up i get the boys ready all that fun jazz um i go to work well he's on holiday now but he'd be going to school and then i finish work i work a seven and a half hour day and then we pick up the boys we come home we do our routine and they're in bed by like 9 30 8 30 8 o'clock they're in bed you know we clean up or do whatever we gotta do and then we kind of you know chill or you know do whatever we need to do to kind of prep for the next day so um y'all see my little office space over there and i need to clean up that chair that's my office over there where you know i see clients on my laptop um but yeah guys i've been if i'm been on if i'm being honest the last two weeks have been a bit rough levi's up of course um the last few weeks have been rough let me talk and get ready um the last few weeks have been rough um y'all know like my mom passed away last year this year and to the first like Christmas without her and it's just the holidays are not the same like this is this is her domain this is what she does you know so it's, it's I'm feeling some type of way and it's just rough so anyways um I'm going to the gym and I try and do the minimum an hour at the gym sometimes I do a bit more sometimes I do a bit less but I've been committed to doing at least an hour. Um, when I can't go to the gym, I try and use my little step machine. I've been doing this little, um, y'all know the Korean workout, the one where they, um, I'll try and insert a picture or a little mini video of what I've been trying to do because everyone swears it works. Um, but yeah, oh y'all like my sweater? This is all glory to God, the over worship. So y'all remember that Mino you know, Dean went to this, the, the, the church service, the worship service um that's close to us that they they have like worship services on tuesday so we went there and then like they were you know we were supporting them and they had their um they had their merch so we purchased one um this is an extra large it's really big well not really big it's kind of let me show y'all it's not that big i might have been dramatic it's it's really thick though but it's gonna make me sweat and these what i'm talking about sweating is like um tmi but i like in life i've had a very hard i've always had a hard time sweating it takes a lot for me to break a sweat so whenever i go to the gym you will always catch me in long sleeves i have a hoodie on um so that i can burn them calories so yeah we're gonna go to the gym and i'm gonna take you take you guys along with me the gym is about um the gym is like eight minutes from my house, so it's not too far. It's in a plaza, a very well lit plaza. So, um, I'm good. So I'm gonna go now, and I'll be back in an hour. I'll probably try to take some footage at the gym, but that's it. Yeah, act like you know the sense. Anyway, yeah, the scripture said, "Do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with this." From a cutout. Why? <laughs> Why you always a cut up meeting them, bro? All right, so um, Adin's doing a little. Let's look at construction view with them, although they're not very appreciative. Adin's building a gingerbread house. We tried to include Diva and Jeremiah, but it just became a complete mess. Diva, they just want them. <laughs> So, 
Odin's building it on his own. So I have a few questions for you, Odin, while you build. Levi's out of his bed? Me I never know. Me and me are not from it, please. Alright, so the first question. You don't want any gimmicks question. And this is not necessarily Christmas related. Some saved. Yeah, okay. So these are like end of year reflection questions. Ready? Then she might be crying. No, it's not a, well, I don't know. You probably might. What has been the most important goal that you have achieved this year? Oh, most achieved, most. What is the most important goal you've achieved this year? FYI, the kids are in their bed and they're struggling to fall asleep a bit. So if you hear them in the background, we're not neglectful parents. They are trying to fall asleep. As you are. Um, I think going back to school, I would say that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I started out the year with it in mind though. Mm -hmm. That I would end up um, starting school in September. Right. But I think somewhere deep, deep inside of me, I wanted to. Mm -hmm. At least just for the sake of, because I'm in Canada, you know. Yeah. So just do some, do some sort of school in here. And when I look at that whole, whole um, the challenges, not being able to get like, the transcript and just a few days before we get enrolled and then for no say I was still able to actually get it done. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Okay. So big up Durham College. We've done my thing already. Um what is the biggest uh what is your biggest goal for the coming year? Finish school. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the top of my class. That's in April. And then forget one of them decent 37.5 hour jobs, bro. I'm not on a 40 hours a week, Virgin. I mean, that's I not really that far. Proper. You said 37. Well, then again, I'm not, I'm not apprehensive about uh, a regular 9 to 5 for like a, a few years. Mm -hmm. But it's just to get a decent job where you don't feel the need for juggle and do other things, you know? Okay. Because the, my main priority is just to have enough time. With my family, bro. Sound like a good goal. Um, what is one area that you feel you made the most improvement? The spiritual growth. Mm. In terms of, um, I would say I've learned a lot this year. Mm -hmm. Still struggling to implement, but I think I've learned a lot of things that. I would yeah I've learned a lot this year and that's one of the major areas that I look into bro. okay what would you say has been your most favorable um, your most enjoyable part of the year one memory one thought oh my god bro it was your fan yeah one one thing if anything has Stuck stood up yeah Oh, our trip down to Hartford, driving down to Hartford. Yeah, even though it came closer to the end of the year, but that was bomb. That was Why was it bomb? Because it was such a long drive, bro, and it was a nice long drive. We talked and we see a lot, and it was. You know why it was good too? It felt like we didn't have our lives for a few, for a few days. It actually felt like we got a break from life. Mm. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Yeah. It felt I mean, like. We never die, we want yard, we get food, we now have it, you know what I'm saying? Right. It felt like we got a well needed break in our sense, so that was pretty good. We didn't have to prepare anything, we just kind of no. walked into everything being prepared. It's like you got foreign, bro. You feel like you got foreign. You know, you got foreign, you know, if you think about because any year, yard, you Yeah. How do you feel now, yourself? Eh? Look here. How oh, young kid you feel? Look at this. In terms of what? Because you guys tried and you completely failed. That's good job. <laughs> I know, right? It's not live. Babe, I hope you keep that in, eh? I'm not. Because okay, you guys next, tried and failed. Miserable. Next question. What has been the biggest surprise this year? Um, I guess mom's passing. Mm. Nobody started the year with that. Certainly, I didn't. Yeah. That was major for us on this side. Um, what are okay? Next question. What are three words to describe the past year and why? Um. Um. 
three words. Mm -hmm. How would you describe this year? Jesus, peace, bro. This is in our world together. Okay, mm. I thought it was. No, no, no. Nobody come with that. You know, no fault to do the building. The, the stuff is melting, guy. Oh. Uh, don't be immature. Okay, anyways, what's, what is the question? What is the answer to the question? Or well, use one word. What's one word to describe this year if you had to describe it? To describe the year? In, yeah. In, in what way? And however you see it. Like when you think about the year, what, what would be a couple words you'd use to describe the um, year? It was a improvement from last year, which is good. Okay. Improvement is always good. I think it was a, a year that stuff improved. Uh, and also a year where I, I think in some sense I've gotten clearer vision on in terms of what I want and and also what I need to do because sometimes that's the biggest thing you might get sometimes you might get insight on what you want and insight on what you should and no insight on what you want but sometimes you don't necessarily understand how you should get it done mm. but I think this year I kind of have a good understanding of what I need to do to get stuff done but I'm part Okay, you must know. Yeah, you talk. No, about Shanika, it's not enough to do with me. Bro. Okay, so we're having the same struggle. Huh? It's warm. We're having here. the same struggle. It's too warm. Could do it outside. Go. Oh, the, um, the, the door. In here, how It's really warm in here. It's not holding. Look. We can just name it? Yeah, we can. Alright, last question. This time next year, what's one thing you hope will be different? All right, so if you were to have, what was the question I asked you? All right, so this is a fail. The room is too warm, so it's falling apart. So it has nothing to do with my lack of skill. Mm. This environment is not conducive to icing as martyr. Mm, interesting. Anyways, so final question. Mm -hmm. What's the question I asked you? This time. Oh yeah, what's one thing this time next year you hope is different? We are currently in a basement apartment. No, we probably saw enough on Prism just, but I'm hoping that this time next year, I am on the upstairs and I will be renting to somebody in the downstairs. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to buy a house next year. Mm -hmm. Buy the hook or the crook. And so for those of you out there, the Lord, the right to house. the Lord and, and that you... would have saved a whole world of trouble and gimmicks <laughs> okay and if you could travel to one place of your choice next year where would it be? Mega <laughs> like me out bro <laughs> fly out here and fly out here alright okay well outside of Jamaica me out nobody try and vehicle me for going to wear it mega me out okay I know you're going there somewhere else next year? yeah I guess we can go back to Mexico okay. are you going to send me send Lucia I mean, uh, this is your interview, so what, whatever your answer is, say Lucia works. Ah, what's coming wrong with you? Hmm. I'm gonna just have somewhere in Canada. You're gonna go somewhere in Canada? Okay. I'll spend a weekend. Okay. Fair enough. Like in the north, though. In the north? Like Manitoba, or Yukon, or some other far away place. Why? Because the country is so big to keep flying outside of the country without... I'm just living your whole life in Toronto, bro. Bro, Canada is so massive, so why not try and go one or two places? That's true. Okay, guys, so this is the end of our little questionnaire interview with Odin. I'm probably gonna make this a complete vlog, so you guys will probably see our day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas. Today is December 24th. It's like 9 16. So, how do they build this then? I mean, maybe if it's a bit cooler, it's, it, it stays together. But yeah, guys, we will see you in a bit. Oh, he's not looking at me, he's looking at her. He thinks that she's playing with him. Somebody's playing with him, my guy. What's his name?
face him. Jeremiah, you see the lights? Levi. We're here driving through um, our local lights show. We're in Uxbridge. So we're just here with the kitties. As we're driving through. Welcome to um, explore their winter fest. It is really cold. It's minus five or four. What well, feel like minus nine? So it is pretty chilly outside. So we're about to head inside and see what's going on. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are in Wonderland and it is lit. My camera does not do it justice, guys. It does not do it justice at all. <laughs> Does not do it justice. I'm cold. Freezing. Bro, my clothes are gone. Like hundred percent. I should have worn the other boot. I'm freezing. But in my mind, me like you want to wear a Tim's look cool, like a mule. Katie, how do you feel? Mm. Better. You feel better. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm warm. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys. So this vlog is gonna be very beer. It's extremely cold outside. And Bro, I have no toes left there. Eh? It's not possible to vlog in this weather. Like, I'm sorry. Um, I guess because I take the, I drive most times. I don't really meant the, but my gloves are not really warm. I'm noticing my jacket's not really warm. I'm noticing, you know, these are things I guess you would know if you are outside for any period of time. But I'm not, so I guess I don't know. So yeah, the kids who just came inside, they can have some, some fries. You already know theme parks are very expensive. Um, we just got something for them. I think as we go out, and I'm not really a fan of amusement park food anyway. Like you have to be really hungry to really want a cheeseburger from Wonderland. No offense to those who work in Wonderland who make the food, but yeah. But yeah, I'm more inclined to get something warm to drink. Come, we need to get hot chocolate. But yeah, so we'll see. Christine. You guys. Huh? Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, Din, Din, Din. Oh, okay. Shnika, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes are closed. Shnika, first I go by the Krishnika. 
So we're looking for rides for the boys. Well, yes, specifically Levi. Um, I went on one ride and that's it. I'm not going anymore. Um, unless it's for the kids. But it's too cold out here. Like this weather is not for me. But yeah, guys, enjoy the scenery. Okay guys, so we reached the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I got enough footage to make a vlog. It's been very, 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 very cold. Um, so it's been very hard to vlog. But um, yeah, this is um, Winterfest Wonderland. On a scale of one to 10, should you come? I would say, if you're just warm, yeah. It's, you know, another, another thing to do around the holidays um it's great for family fun so yes definitely check out winter wonderland all right guys and until the next video peace out